In this video, I'll show you how we can measure the power factor in an AC circuit in a simulating model. There are so many techniques to measure the power factor. How could we do it easily? That we will do with the help of the circuit. This is simply 230 volt AC supply is given uh, with uh, 50 hertz input. Okay, and this is an RL circuit. Uh, with R and XL values equal to 10 so that uh, 2 pi F L is 10 okay so current and voltage measurement taken the scope was applied and run it so you can see the waveforms here Let's see. We are simply looking into this graph again you can say this is reaching its peak here this is delayed by almost this much no 45 degrees seems right okay so we will check what is the uh, power factor in this of the circuit so for measuring power factor we will introduce a Fourier block here first this is a Fourier block. We know that voltage is being taken as reference, so we need to get the current phase angle only in order to find the power factor. So the, the Fourier block we need to give the fundamental frequency of our signal. It is 50 hertz, so I have given it 50. We take the current measurement here. Yeah, this is the current measurement, and we'll put a display here in the. Every block you can get the help from this clicking on it and the help button it will go to the help of that okay the details you can find it from that block okay so fundamental frequency 50 and the harmonic which we want to get it as a fundamental uh, one no? so we'll put it as one okay and this will be the face um, angle shows okay it shows this the angle of this current vector with reference to the voltage vector it will show of the fundamental frequency you can see it has minus 45 degree now we need to get the power factor of that no so what we can do in uh, this angle is in degrees so first we'll have to convert it into uh, radians and the magnitude of the gain parameter should be we convert degrees to radians no degrees so let it be pi by 180 okay and uh, this input is given taken from this angle and uh, now it is in radian no so this radian has to be cosine of that will give you the power factor no there is a, in mathematical trigonometric functions, there are blocks like cos function, sine cos, all those functions are there. This cos function, the argument should be in radian. That's why I converted it into radian. Okay. Now we'll fix another block here. Okay. That's it. Okay. Now uh, this much is actually the this much con, uh, covers the power factor measurement arrangement no? so the same can be done instead of doing these blocks and all you can do the mathematical functions with the help of a matlab function that how do we do it we'll check it right uh, type matlab function you can see the matlab function here no? okay this is a matlab function so double click on the MATLAB function, we will come to this function window, let us uh, take two outputs like uh, uh, factor one output and phi another output, so we will change it like this and uh, the function of, it is a function of input is marked as u now, we we'll make it as an angle of current vector, no angle i let it be. 
now you can write the program what is uh, phi actually phi is equal to negative of angle i no because uh, angle of voltage minus angle of current no? so phi is angle i and what about power factor power factor is um, cos of if we write a cos of phi phi should be in radian no so in market as cos of phi in degrees there is a function like cos d phi okay mm. right so no warnings okay no come to that so see this not law function no let us power factor and phi as the output we'll put that one display here in order to show that this is the power factor this display is the phi angle phi okay now this input has to be taken in from the phase angle measurement in the fourier block okay we run it this is the angle i actually this is the current angle this back in market of say angle i in degrees so that no confusion at all that's minus 45 because it is the angle of here i have taken it as zero minus of angle uh, phi so that is phi current angle okay phi okay so this is how we can easily measure okay and this was taken as a 10 and 10 so it comes 45 degree x was taken as 10 itself let us do it for a high inductance okay now run it it's almost 90 degree uh, phi a factor is almost is to zero near to zero okay Here you see there is a warning. What is it? Uh, <coughs> in the PV measurement or Fourier of this block, one port is not being connected. That's a warning. Yes. It will show us the warning every time when we run it. We can avoid that by actually we don't need that port actually for our measurement. So let us block it by using applying a terminator. Okay. Then then run it. Okay. No, everything fine. No. Now we'll see how we can avoid this or how we can make you the subsystems. Let us remove this portion because we don't need two type of same power measurement. No, only one is required. So let it be this one. Here you can see this create a subsystem. Let us create a subsystem. This is a subsystem there may be circuits inside there will be inside it subsystem let us measure it as um, um, rename it as say power factor measurement so now we have created a block uh, such power factor measurement okay this is our own block actually you can double click on that go to this okay one two one input and one two two outputs and click here to go upwards okay that is this okay in one and the out one we can name it actually this in one is actually what is the uh, current input now and uh, this out one it is actually the cosine value so it is the power factor and this out to it is the final okay so 
this actually we can mask it this is create a mask you can click on that so that uh, block frame visible like that okay what all parameters we need we can do it here this is our block our own generated block actually you can okay so really it will be like this okay now we will apply this power power factor measurement in the converter circuit now we will apply that block here this is that power factor measurement block okay here this is an input ic this is a full converter its output is put to an rl load it's a highly inductive load okay and we'll run it see this is the uh, factor 0 0.70 okay now we fix a uh, prevailing diode here okay let us see factor is increased to 0.92 actually we have applied the uh, phase delay of 2.5 millisecond okay so you can see by applying a uh, prevailing diode across the full converter a factor got improved okay 